So out of the big three features integrated into the sheet set, I like to call them the big three because it's kind of uh, some of the main reasons why you would use sheet set. I guess it could possibly be before because of the organization and other things. But what I'm talking about here is e-transmit, archiving, and the um, ability to plot. So what I want to look at now is archiving. And archiving is very similar to e-transmit, but the intention is not really to send out to somebody. It's more of an internal, I want to archive this. So perhaps I've hit a particular milestone, so I'd like to back it up so I have you know, the data at that particular milestone or that particular revision. Now, unlike e-transmit, e-transmit will work at whatever level you want. So you can do it from a subset level, you can select particular drawings and you can e-transmit, but archive is accomplished from the very top level. So archive is intended for the very top level, so the entire sheet set project. Now when I click archive, it's going to start scanning all the data and this works very similar to e-transmit. So this could be thought of as kind of a, a subset of e-transmit because it's based on the same kind of technology. So here what it's listing me is here's all the sheets that are being collected. So perhaps I don't want to include, so as I scroll down here, perhaps I don't want to include the electrical details. So I'm going to remove that information. And I can look at this from different aspects. So here's the listing of the sheets. Here's a listing of all the data from a um, kind of a categorized file view. And then here's just simply all the files and all the data that it's going to collect. Note the additional option to add files that are not managed by the sheet set. So any other type of data, if you've got um, a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, perhaps you've got a PDF, you can insert and attach any other data that you want to include with this. Now to see what's going to happen with this, let's click on the modify archive setup. And what I'm able to do is I'm specifying what's happening here. So our options here is a folder. So if we just want to copy all the data into a folder, or as a zip file. So I'm gonna zip file, and notice the option to save back to an older format. So perhaps I'm using you know, 2017, um, but somebody else within the company is still on 2012, and I'm gonna archive it, so just in case they ever need to work with it. So I'm gonna stick with the, the existing file format. I'm gonna use a prompt, which means that I'm actually gonna be able to browse and select but this is gonna be the default file location. Now the reason why you might wanna actually set the file location is because you can have it just automatically go to a set location with a name. And it could just increment it, so perhaps I'm using numbers, it would just automatically increment it, or just have it automatically overwrite that. So it's kind of the first time I archive it, I pick the location and the name, and then from that point forward I can just archive and just know that it's gonna go out and just overwrite that data. So I'm actually going to prompt it for a file name and I'm going to pick the location. And what I want is I want to place all the data into one folder. Now, if this was an archive, a true archive, I probably want to keep the same folder structure. So how the data is organized into subsets and subfolders, I'm going to maintain that folder structure. I'm just going to put it into a different location. So it's going to, it's going to, it's going to maintain the hierarchy. I am going to purge the drawings, and since this is an archive, I may want to also remove any design feed information. So if I was collaborating with others using the embedded AutoCAD tools, I could purge that information. Also take a look at the bottom, is there some options here for additional data? So are we going to include the sheet set data? Are we going to include unloaded file references? So perhaps I attached an XREF in a drawing, but you know for performance reasons I unloaded it. Well, I want to make sure I'm including that information. If I'm working with 3D parts um, and objects, you know, let's include the photometric because I was doing rendering. Let's include the textures because again I was doing 3D modeling. Let's include the Excel spreadsheets because I was doing data links. And I can include the fonts, so if I'm concerned that I'm using some special font and maybe 10 years from now I won't have that same font, we could include that font. So again, I've modified my archive setup, which is specific to this sheet set. So if I was to go to a different sheet set, I can use the same modify and make those settings specific to that sheet set. So it makes it really easy at any point along the project just to right click archive and go. So I'm gonna click OK. Let's click OK to that. Remember that I am prompting, so let's save this to, um, to the desktop. So I'm gonna click save, 
notice it's processing it. This is where it's going to save to the older formats. This is where it's going to purge. This is where it's going to remove the plotters. This is going to when all the magic is going to happen. Now, once this is done, what I'll do is I'll open the, the zip file so we can see all the information that's been collected. So as we can see here, that it has gone out. Remember that I maintained the folder structure, so we can see the folder structure that's been maintained and that there is data in these folders. We can also see in here that it has collected the sheet set file, it has collected the templates, it has captured plot plotting information. It's also created an automatic report and it just happens. There's really no settings or anything, it just happens. It just provides a list of all the data that was collected um, by this archive. And then since I didn't include fonts, it's showing me the um, fonts that were not, weren't included. So that's using archive. Again, the difference between it and eTransmit is archive is really intended for working internally and backing up your data. The settings are specific to the sheet to the active sheet set, and it provides a, a convenient and easy method to basically back up and archive your sheet set, your project at any point along the process.